So a lot of people have asked me how I like make tortillas. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. I'm gonna show you how to make handmade tortillas made from scratch. Now, all the ingredients that you're gonna need are seen before me. So we have four cups of water, which actually you only need three, but I'll get to that later. You also need some baking powder and some Crisco or vegetable oil, whichever one you have on hand, but Crisco usually works a little bit better because I think it makes it fluffier. And you also want some salt and four cups of flour. So I'm gonna pour in my four cups of flour right now. And you want the flour to be as level as possible. And it's okay if it's not exact measurements either. Alright, so next what you're going to want to do is after adding in four cups of flour, if you're making a full batch, you want to use eight cups. If you're making a half batch like I am, you want to cut everything in half, so use four cups of flour. Now you're going to want to use a teaspoon and a half of baking powder if you're making a half batch. And then it's actually three teaspoons if you're making a full batch. What you're going to want to do is if you're making a half batch, you're going to want to take and put two tablespoons of, two and a half tablespoons of Crisco into your mixture. If you're making a full batch, you're going to want to go with five. Okay, so next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make and add half a teaspoon of salt if you're making a full batch. If you're making a half batch, you're going to want to use a fourth. Alright, next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add at least one cup of water to your half batch. If you're making a full batch, you're going to want to use four cups, and the reason why you're going to want to do that is because you, you're technically only using three, but you're gonna be adding water a little bit later to the dough if you need it. So that is why we go with what we do. All right, so now what you're gonna to wanna to do is, as I'm doing with my hands right now, you want to mix your Crisco salt, water, and flour mixture with baking powder in it and everything. You're gonna to wanna to mix that by hand and make sure that all the lumps are gone. I would use a whisk, but it's just, it doesn't work. <laughs> all right, so as you're mixing every once in a while, you're gonna wanna pour a little bit of water into the mixture again, just so then it doesn't get, you know, too dry or anything like that. But then you're just gonna wanna keep doing that every once in a while. All right. So next what you're going to want to do is once you have your dough all mixed up and everything, then you're going to want to take it out of your bowl, flour down your working space, and then you're going to want to knead it until, basically until you want to stop. <laughs> so once you are done kneading the dough and everything, you're going to want to take like a little bit, like maybe that much of your dough, kind of roll it around in your hand until you make a little ball. So next what you're gonna wanna do is after you have all of your dough rolled out into little balls like so, you're gonna wanna take one of them and you're going to place your rolling pin on top of it and roll it out times and every once in a while what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take it and flip it like that so then you can make them a little bit bigger all right so what you're gonna want to do is after like every couple times you roll it out you're gonna want to take it you're gonna want to lift it flip it over and then 
always make sure that you get the opposite side as well. And then what you're going to want to do is after that, you're going to take it, you're going to set it on the griddle. Your griddle should be at least preheated to about 400 degrees and it should still stay 400 degrees when you set your tortilla on there. Okay, so every once in a while what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your tortilla and flip it over. Now it's supposed to actually look a golden brown but because I probably added a little bit too much flour it looks like that. Okay, so once you're done cooking your um, tortillas and checking them constantly, you're going to want to take them and put them on a plate, like so.